Hello friends, this is Adam with Movie Guy 365 and today I'm going to review the 4K Blu-ray edition of The Cabin in the Woods. If you're new to the channel, please hit the like button, subscribe, hit that bell notification. You can also find me over Twitter, Instagram, and Letterboxd at MovieGuy365. Okay, The Cabin in the Woods on 4K Blu-ray. Now, a little bit about my feelings on the movie. This was one of my favorite movies of 2011. I really enjoyed it. I think it, it's a very smart commentary on the horror genre. Uh, it's very unsuspecting. I really went into this with no uh, expectations, no real spoilers. And I, you know, I think it just stands up really well. It's got a great cast. It was uh, Chris Hemsworth in it before he kind of hit big. He, I believe he filmed this one before the first Thor movie. So it was just kind of one of those those movies that really has a great cast and the overall premise is awesome. I don't want to spoil anything here, but if you want a great you know take on the horror genre, a commentary, uh, something with great references from the just the the whole horror franchise in general, definitely check out the Cabin in the Woods. All right, now we're going to talk about the picture quality and audio on the 4K Blu-ray in just a moment. But first, let's do a quick unboxing. Okay, we have Cabin in the Woods Slipcover Edition available from Lionsgate. Uh, really dig the, the artwork on here. And then we have the back and the spine. And then the interior. Some little artwork on the 4K disc. So overall looks great. All right. Now let's talk about the picture quality and the audio. The Cabin in the Woods has an aspect ratio of 240 and it also was reportedly shot on film, but it does not support a native 4K resolution. Apparently this film was upscaled to 4K considering the CGI heavy elements, so they probably utilize a 2K digital intermediate. And this is what we have here as far as the 4K presentation. So no native 4K, which is unfortunate but it does support HDR10 and Dolby Vision. So for purposes of this review, I'll be talking about the Dolby Vision encode. So how does it look? I feel the picture quality on here looks pretty good. I think for the most part, detail and color levels are the strongest aspect here. Uh, colors, you know, pr prominently the color red looks really well done here. And just the overall, you know, goriness of the film really stands out. There's a lot of you know, playing with the color palette uh, in various parts of the movie, and I think it's rendered really nicely. Uh, as far as detail goes, it looks good. Up close shots, in particular, really benefit here, but it's just the overall designs of the monsters and the creatures that inhabit the film are really well just utilized. They look great. Now, I will say black levels for the most part are good. I think they're pretty consistently well done. Uh, a lot of the interior scenes are nice inky black levels. Uh, nighttime scenes can be a little bit elevated from time to time. Uh, it's not it's not overly distracting, but if you're really looking for it, I think you'll notice it. But I've seen you know horror films you know, utilizing HDR and Dolby Vision just that look really well done with black levels. Uh, this one is okay in that area. I think it's an overall very good picture quality despite it not being a native 4K resolution, but the upscale really stands out and I think you'll be very pleased. For the audio presentation, we're given a Dolby Atmos mix here on the Cabin in the Woods 4K, and this thing is a beast. It really comes to life. It really kind of embraces that horror element and it utilizes all the speakers very effectively. Everything that comes through, you know, from the quieter moments, you get that little hush, you know, feeling, the, the, just pulling you in. And when something happens, it does, and the, the home theater environment will let you know that it happens. That Atmos really comes to play. Dialogue coming through the center channel is nice and clean and clear, easy to understand, no problems there. The fronts, they sound great. They handle a lot of the action, they do so very well, and it, there's no sh shortcomings there whatsoever. The mid-levels and rears are very effective. They, they utilize their, their space and just everything from the quieter moments, the ambience, to the action-heavy environments. They really stand out here and they, they, they pull you into the movie and they do so very well. The height speakers are also used effectively. 
uh, a lot of discrete channel activity there, no issues in that department, and it really makes you glad that you have something set up if you have if you're utilizing an Atmos setup with rear or height speakers. LFE is very aggressive, very strong. There's a lot of those heavy duty moments that just really punch, and it's a good, good use. And I think you're going to be very pleased here as well. This is a very robust soundtrack. It's very strong. The soundstage is very effective and it's really just demo worthy material for a good horror film. For the picture quality of The Cabin in the Woods on 4K, I'm going to give this one an A-. I think despite it being an upscale, it still looks really well done. Daytime scenes in particular are standout-ish with color. Uh, detail also really just comes to life here, especially on those up-close shots. The black levels are not the deepest I've seen. I think it could have been utilized a little bit better, but for what we get here, it's still a very pleasing picture. For the audio presentation, I'm going to give this one a solid A+. It's a very strong representation of horror on 4K with Dolby Atmos. All the speakers are used effectively. It's very robust and just an overall immersive, strong audio presentation. So that is my review of The Cabin in the Woods 4K. Let me know if you have the movie and if you have it on 4K, what do you think of it? In the meantime, please like, subscribe, hit that bell notification. I'll put out videos every single day. So until next time, this is Adam with Movie Guy 365. I will see you at the movies.